Ну, в первую очередь, надо сюда говорить, <laughs> в первую очередь хочется поблагодарить команду соперника, поздравить с выигрышем. Хорошая игра была за свою команду. Хочу сказать, что мы полностью провалили первый тайм. Мы не справились uh, в защите, uh, мы не справились с линейным. И в второй тайм уже приходилось быть в той роли догоняющих, чтобы как можно сократить разницу в отставании, понимая, что отыграть будет тяжело. И, конечно же, такой момент яркий, что очень много не реализовали тех моментов, которые должны были реализовывать. And of course, very bright moment for us, uh, I mean negative moment that, uh, about our realization in the attack. We missed too many shoots, too many good situations in the attack, which we need to score. Конечно, наверное, такой единственный плюс, что нам все-таки удалось сократить такое большое отставание все-таки до пяти мячей. И у нас есть, как говорится, второй тайм в Москве, мы постараемся его исправить. Yeah, first, congratulations to Chesame. Uh, I agree with Olga about the things. Um, we get a really bad start in the game. And first half, we Chesame is much better than us, uh, I think. In second half, we start to fight and show emotions. And we come back in the game and um, catch some goals. That was important. But of course, we are really disappointed about our performance today. Um, Oh, then now we need to go home, see the game, uh, train, 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 and be ready on Sunday. Thank you very much. I'm going to ask you to pass the microphone to Mr. Adrian Vasile, the coach of Chesame Bucharest. Your thoughts about uh, this game against uh, CSK Moscow? Uh, first of all, we, we are, of course, very satisfied with the victory today. We knew that uh, CSK Moscow has a very big quality in the team. I think they have made a almost perfect season of Champions League until now and we, we had respect and we have respect for the team because we know it's a top opponent. Um, I think we had uh, one, let's say, perfect first half where uh, in a way everything was going uh, our way. Uh, in a way maybe we could have had a little bit bigger difference than, uh, than five goals in the end, but uh, I think CSKA has played a good uh, second half where they kept us always under pressure when they also got some uh, some saves so somehow it uh, it balanced a little bit the game but it's a uh, it will be a, a full fight in uh, in Moscow next next week to qualify for uh, final four and uh, I'm pretty sure that we are ready uh, to actually close this work for one season uh, that we have done until now thank you very much and uh, we also have uh, Sira Dembele the player of the game your thoughts about uh, this uh, first round against CSK Moscow Uh, yeah, we did a uh, very good uh, first half. Uh, the second half, I think, uh, CSKA uh, play much more better and uh, have uh, a lot of save from uh, their goalkeeper. Uh, so uh, we are still focused. Uh, we are, uh, yeah, we are satisfied. But uh, in same time, we are. It's the job is not finished. So we will keep uh, going to focus for uh, play the second game. Okay, thank you. I do have a question for the visiting team coach. Uh, this is your uh, second uh, time when you're coming to Romania to play. You played against uh, Rimniku Volcea first in the group stage. Was this game way harder than that one? How did you feel it uh, from the bench? 
Второй раз по ходу этого сезона, когда мы приезжаем в Румынию, первый раз с Рымнику на групповом этапе играли и сравнивая вот эти два матча, вы из них, какой из них был, ну, оказался сложнее со скамейки? Ну, я думаю, здесь вы ответ очевиден, что э, сегодняшний матч, конечно же, был сложнее. И, и для меня тоже, конечно, в первую очередь, And потому что я руководила командой, для меня это первый раз в Лиге Чемпионов, поэтому, um, естественно, этот матч был сложнее. League, и в прошлый раз мы повели в начале игры и спокойно доигрывали до конца. Сегодня было с точностью все наоборот. Sabina, in the last round, you were also defeated in the first leg of uh, the game, but you were able to come back in Moscow and uh, qualify for the, for the quarterfinals. Uh, do you think it's going to be way harder to do it this time, or uh, is it going to be the same because you're playing at home and you're more relaxed and you're more comfortable playing in Moscow? Of course, it's going to be really hard. Um, it To catch five goals on Chesme, it's it's hard. Uh, of course, I I believe in it, and we have a chance. Uh, we play home, uh, but uh, it will be really hard. And uh, I think, of course, we this game today, uh, this was not what we wanted. Um, so I, of course, we, I think all team believe in it still, but it will be harder against Chesme than it was against Krim. Yes. I do also have a question for uh, Mr. Vasile. How surprised were you by the reaction of your team in the first half, especially with Cristina Nagu scoring only one goal and your team being able to uh, make such a big difference after the first 30 minutes of this game when everybody contributed to, to, the, to the score? I think it's a team effort. <laughs> This is just a team playing, and at some point, uh, one of the girls are gonna are gonna do some difference. Uh, many times it's Christina, but I think we have the quality, the experience uh, for all of us to to step up in this kind of games. So it's it's just a team effort. And uh, Sira, the last question for uh, this uh, press conference: You're gonna play in Moscow now. You have a five-goal advantage uh, when you start that game. What's going to be the key for Chesame Bucharest to qualify for the final four? What do you need to do in Moscow in order to get this, uh, this done and qualify for the final four? <laughs> of course, I will not tell you. <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm kidding. I think uh, we have really uh, some uh, point that we can make uh, much more better and uh, we will focus on this.